Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Momo Makeup and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a brand new product here from Lawless Beauty. This is their Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum. I am going to talk in depth with you guys about this product. I have a wear test in this video. And also I wanna show you live on camera how a foundation applies over top of this serum. Before we do that, if you could please hit your subscribe button and turn your notification bells on. That way you will not miss any of the new videos that I upload. Let's get started. For those of you who came to this video prepared and you're really only interested in seeing the application process or the wear test, I am going to leave timestamps in the description box below for your reference. All right, let's talk about this. This is from Lawless Beauty. They are a clean beauty brand that is sold at Sephora or on the Lawless website. This is their brand new product. It is called Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum. It comes in a little matte tube with a pump at the end. When you pump it onto your skin, here's what it looks like. It has a nice sort of soft purple tinge to it. I will tell you guys when I first tried out this primer, the scent, it smells amazing. It has lavender oil in the primer. Right away you get that lavender scent and look how good it looks even just when it's applied to my hand here. So this is a very unique product that Lawless Beauty created. This is a three-in-one product. It is a serum, a moisturizer, and a primer all in one. You can use this in the morning and at night as part of your skincare routine, or you can use it as a primer for your makeup. Either way, you get all of the skincare benefits that comes along with this serum. It is light coverage with a natural finish, and it is a liquid formulation. It's silicone free. It includes antioxidant rich skincare ingredients that provide lightweight hydration and soothing benefits. So that's just the coolest thing about this primer is that they really encourage you to use it as a skincare item as well as a makeup primer. It contains pentapeptide 59, which helps to reduce signs of sensitization, including visibly reducing redness. It also has rosehip seed oil, which is packed with vitamins A and C, and they're gonna help your skin's elasticity, hydration, and also healing properties. C buckthorn oil is also an ingredient that's in this primer, and that is rich in antioxidants like vitamin E, it has carotenoids and lycopene that protect the skin from free radical damage. Being that this product is in the clean beauty category at Sephora, you can be assured that it is formulated without a list of over 50 ingredients, including sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and more. Let me give you the exact description that Lawless Beauty provides. Set the stage has a refreshing feel upon application. Transitioning from a gel into a high gliding oil, then back into a gel, resulting in an ultra soft satin finish. This formula is fortified with powerhouse ingredients like peptides encapsulated in shea butter that calm and comfort the skin. You can really use this to replace your nighttime serum. If you use a serum throughout the day or in the morning, you can use this to replace that as well. When you're buying a product like this, you're really getting multiple uses out of it. It's so versatile and it's a great product to have in your lineup. Okay, so now that I have you in front of my window, I am going to show you exactly how this primer applies. I'm gonna give you my first impression thoughts. So let's see, I have two pumps here, which is about that much. And you can see it's like a gel type consistency. Now I'm gonna just get it a little warmed up in my fingers. And I always use my hands to apply my primers. I don't ever use a brush. It's just not what I do. But I can tell you right off the bat, the first thing I noticed about this primer is that it smells just like lavender. It is a very pleasant smell. It's not overpowering by any means. It's like just the right amount of fragrance. And it does come from the lavender oil that is in the primer, so it's not something that concerns me. It's not an artificial fragrance. It's so interesting. So as I mentioned before, this starts out like a gel, then it transitions into a high gliding oil and back to a gel. It's gonna give me a satin finish, that's what they say. And now that I've rubbed it all the way in and I pat it in, it does have like a sticky texture. Okay, and it feels it feels good. It's slightly sticky, but not as sticky as it was a few seconds ago. But I like it to be a little bit sticky. That'll give me a really good grip with the foundation. But look how good this honestly makes my skin look just without any foundation at all. It gives you like a nice glow. You can see up here around my eye. 
It feels really good so far. So let's get some foundation on here. Now, in order to give this foundation a fair review, I'm going to use a sponge on the left side of my face and a brush on the right. Typically, I only use sponges when I'm applying my foundation, but in this case, when reviewing a primer or a foundation, I think it's important to show how it performs while using two different tools versus just one. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Perfecting Foundation. This is a luminous finish foundation. It's not matte, but it's also not dewy, so I feel like it's the perfect foundation to use for this review. It's gonna give me medium to full coverage, so let's try it out. My skin, by the way, looks amazing without the foundation, so. It's giving me uh, big hopes for this primer to perform nicely. So I'm gonna just go ahead in here with my sponge and I'm gonna be looking over here in my mirror. So I definitely feel like this primer is going to definitely grab a hold of your foundation it doesn't really give you much time to maneuver so you really just want to be careful and just apply to sections of your face at a time versus trying to get the foundation like sometimes i'll pump foundation all over my face and then start but i think with this primer i think your best bet is going to just be go section by section So far, this looks incredible. Now we're gonna go ahead on this side and use a brush. So here are both sides of my face. This side I use the brush, this side I use the sponge. You really can't tell that much of a difference. However, I do feel like the side that I use the sponge with does look slightly more luminous than the brush side. So I don't know, that's just a little something I've noticed, but both tools perform beautifully. The foundation didn't slide or move around and I really think the primer made all the difference in this scenario where I felt as though it definitely like it was like a magnet. The foundation just laid down perfectly on it and it really didn't move once it hit my face. So I just think it looks stunning. I wanna get the rest of my face on and then we're gonna do check-ins throughout the day. I wanna do a full like eight hour wear test with this primer. I will check back with you in two hours. I wanted you guys to see before I go about my day exactly what my makeup looks like right after application. I just need you guys to see how good my foundation looks. It gives me a natural, that primer gave me a natural glow. And I, I know that I am wearing a luminous foundation, so it is expected to do that. But I really think the primer helped in sort of balancing the luminosity of the foundation. I don't look greasy or oily. I look luminous, truly, from that like lit from within glow that we're all searching for. So here is what I look like right after my blush and my powder products and my brows. I have to still have to do like a little eyeshadow, but I will check back. It's about 10.30 in the morning right now, so I will check back in two hours to show you guys what this foundation looks like. Fingers crossed. All right guys, check in number one. It is around lunchtime, 12.30 here. It's a gloomy day, so I have my ring light on. So far, I'm really loving how everything is holding up. I really don't see any creasing in the areas that I normally get it, aside from a little bit under my eye, but this foundation is holding up so well with the primer. Everything still looks pretty, pretty perfect. Hey guys, check-in number two. It is 4.30 here and my makeup still looks banging, banging, unless it magically just fails and messes up by the end of today i mean this could be my new go-to primer i hope that you enjoyed watching my review this is going to be the final check-in 
and the part of this video where I share with you my final thoughts about this product. You all saw how well my makeup applied over this serum. It really helped to lay down a beautiful base for my makeup. I could feel the way the foundation sort of stuck to the primer. I knew once I laid it down, it wasn't going to go anywhere. I didn't experience any skipping, any added texture, or any lack of hydration whatsoever. I will be using this at night as part of my skincare routine. The lavender scent is incredible, and you can really feel how hydrating it is as soon as you lay it on your skin. The fact that it changes textures from one to another and then back to the original texture to really give you that satiny. You all saw how, I don't wanna say luminous, I guess satiny would be a better description, if that's even a word, for the way my skin looked and felt after application of this primer. It is something that you could pick up and eliminate three steps out of your skincare routine by using this product alone. I think the proof is really here in my final check-in. You can see how good my makeup still looks. Aside from a little bit of, I wouldn't even call it shininess, it just looks like a natural glow that this primer creates. It helps almost to also like balance the oils in my skin. My skin doesn't look oily at all, it just looks healthy and my makeup held up so well. I will be using this under my makeup and then also as part of my skincare routine. Really, this is an amazing product. I enjoy using it so much and thank you to Lawless and Octoly for sending this to me to review. But please guys, be assured that just because I did not pay for this product with my own money does not mean that my reviews are swayed in any way. That is not the type of channel that this is. I am always open and honest with you about the products that I do receive for free. I am entitled to my own opinion. The videos that you see from me are always going to be my authentic and honest opinion. That is something that I just wanted to share with you all. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you all next time. Bye.